For those of you who are taking writing workshop, I'd like to spend some time here today to talk about how we're going to be working throughout week four. Each day we'll be working with a different, likely a different uh, writing partner. And I'll be sharing with you uh, one by one certain aspects of your writing. And we'll ask that you work with your partner in each one as we work together and with our partners, taking a look at our text with regard to each of the points that I'd like to uh, bring up. We'll get to as many as we can on Monday. And we'll just continue in that fashion for most of the week next week. Again, trying to assign new writing partners so that we have an opportunity to work with as many different classmates as possible. Now, on Monday, I did notice that I this morning, uh, February 13th, I had the chance to go through your essays that you submitted for your first draft. There are a few of you who are still working on your first draft, so I'd like to give you time in class on Monday to complete that first draft so that starting on Tuesday, you can continue working with us with your writing partners. Our discussions on Monday and for pretty much the rest of the week, uh, you'll will those who have completed the first draft will benefit the most participating in uh, what we discuss, okay? So if you're still making uh, changes, let's say you're adding a lot of text, maybe you're still adding uh, or you need to add a few more references, you're best off trying to focus on that for now. And again, do your best to complete the first draft by Monday so that Tuesday then we can assign new partners. And uh, in fact, starting on Tuesday, I will, I will be assigning the entire class to a writing partner. Um, and if, uh, if you're still working on your first draft, you're not able to complete your first draft by Monday, I'm going to ask, please, that you send me a, a message, okay, and so that I can uh, adjust the uh, the partner lists I, again, because it's best to have the first draft completed before you start to really be too concerned about things like grammar, uh, punctuation, things like that, right? So that's going to be our plan for Monday. If anyone is having some challenges that uh, we're not able to address in class, make sure you're reaching out to me as soon as possible. All right. So if we even if we need to connect online to look and discuss together your your uh, issues, your doubts, uh, we can do that. Just make sure you're reaching out to me and getting the feedback that you need from me. Um, but for for this week, the intention in class for the most part is to work in pairs, maybe in trios in some cases. And also provide uh, have me, I, I will be providing you uh, group feedback regarding your writing focus. All right, the last thing I'll say here, and we'll talk more about this in class as well, but I want to draw your attention to Microsoft Teams under Files under Unit One Essay. I added a folder called Grammarly Feedback. If you're not familiar with Grammarly, this is a, an automated way of reviewing. You're writing grammar and uh, spelling, punctuation also. And I'd like for you to go in and take a look at your document. I've included all of the reports from Grammarly and start to take a look at some of uh, these of your results. We'll be talking more specifically about how to interpret uh, the this information, right? Because with uh, Grammarly as with any kind of automated feedback like spell check, it's not a perfect uh, system. It's not. It doesn't uh, address every single issue. It may ignore some. It may even provide suggestions that are not uh, ideal. Maybe there are suggestions that we should even ignore. So this is why I do this so that you can get an idea. You can use these results as a way to try to first see some patterns in the types of errors that you're receiving. Maybe you have a, pat a, a tendency to write really long sentences and you can see uh, instances in this report where maybe they're suggesting that you write shorter sentences. But that's one of the reasons why I'd like for you to start to understand this uh, report. And, and I want you to be very selective when you're making changes based on these results. 
if you understand and you feel that you can, if you understand the what the the kind of mistake that you're making and you know how to fix it, then you, I would go ahead and fix it. But if you find some errors that you're that you don't understand, you're not sure about, you're not you don't understand maybe how to correct that that mistake, then that's when you should be asking questions. You can ask questions, of course, in class. You can send me private chats, or better yet, you can post publicly to the discussion forum that I've set up for this week called Writing Workshop Partners for Week 4. This is where you can not only find your partners for each day, but also, obviously, it's a discussion, so you can post your questions here. And so if you're not sure what a comma splice is, or if you're not clear what a serial comma is, and that's what they're indicating in the Grammarly report, then post your responses to this form, All right? And again, the more questions we can address publicly, I think the more we all can benefit, all right? So if you have a question about a particular type of error, you know that other classmates are gonna have similar questions. So uh, use this form this week to address those questions. When you see a report, something, that it was indicated in the report from Grammarly, Grammarly, then ask your questions here. Of course, if there are uh, aspects that we talk about in class that still are not clear after you've had a chance to talk with your partner and you're both not sure about uh, what we're talking about in class, then of course, post your questions here and we can address them. We will be uh, addressing questions, of course, in class so we will continue, I'll continue receiving uh, you know, your, your comments, whether you post it in the chat in our online session or if it's a private message uh, via chat in Teams. So this is uh, what we're gonna be working on. Again, do, uh, do not take the Grammarly feedback as gospel, as they say. Uh, don't take it like, oh, I'm gonna change every single mistake, every, everything that they indicated in Grammarly, I'm just gonna close my eyes and change all of those. That would be a, a, a big mistake, all right? I, I am sharing this report again with you from Grammarly so that number one, you can start to see tendencies and certain types of errors that you're committing. And number two, you we can work together and you can start to recognize actually the limitations of this type of report. That is, you can start to recognize when changes to your writing need to be made and when other changes should be ignored. And that's why I'm sharing these reports is so that we can start to become more aware and more critical of these types of automated revisions of our academic text. All right, guys, this is going to be our focus for this week, working with um, working in teams and partners primarily in trios in some cases and working on kind of cleaning up our text and uh, we'll talk i'll create another video on the uh, the the steps of academic writing the actual process so that you can also distinguish between a actually editing your work and revising your work all right, so that's going to be a, a, we'll need a clear distinction between those two aspects of your writing, editing your work and revising. So we'll stop there for today. We'll see everybody on Monday as we begin working towards our final draft that'll be due on Friday, February 18th. All right, guys, we'll see you uh, on Monday.